Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Now that it's winter outside, it's time to test your block heater to make sure that it works for the winter time. Last year I uploaded a video showing you how to test your block heater with a multimeter. Unfortunately, with a lot of the modern vehicles today, unless you know the resistance of the block heater, there's no way you could tell if it's 100% perfect or not. You may have continuity when doing the test, but is it within spec? So my buddy Steve Robb, I'm going to leave a link to his channel below in the description. He uses a different method to check his block heater and that's with this tool right here. So let's go outside. I'm going to show you how to do them both and that way you can do this yourself to check your block heater for the winter. As you can see it's winter time now in Canada. Snow's just starting to fall, get cold. It's actually pretty nice out today so we need to check the block heater and the first thing we're going to look at, you can see that plug is pretty corroded. So the first test we're going to do, we're going to put the multimeter on it and check for continuity. So you can see right there, I got continuity. So I know the element hasn't completely shorted out yet. However, that does not tell me if it's still good or not. So let's hook up this tool and see what happens. This bad boy right here, we'll be able to measure the current. Let's go 600, 20 amps, less than 20 amps, because I only got a 15 amp plug. Something's making a noise in there, but I am reading 4.6 amps. This is just a cheap amp clamp as well, so it may not be a perfect reading, but at least it's measuring something. These tools are actually pretty cheap and links will be found in the description. Purchase them off Amazon. That was pretty quick, dirty and simple, so I'm gonna end the video there. Two methods, if you know the resistance of your block heater, you can measure it that way. Of course, a good multimeter would give you better results for accuracy, these cheap ones kind of give you a ballpark figure. I found it to never 100% perfect, especially reading small numbers. Anyways, the amp clamp, using that tool, I was measuring close to five amps of power. There was kind of like a little buzz or rattle inside, so I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that, especially once it gets closer, or not closer, colder, and see what's gonna happen. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below, and I wanna thank you guys for watching. And a link to my buddy Steve Robb, his channel will be in the description below because he's the one that showed me that tool. I'll talk to you guys later.